So in this tutorial, I will demonstrate you how to take a backup of PRTG and restore it in a different server without any missing sensors or devices. So for this demo purpose, what we'll be using is uh, we'll install a two Windows Server version in our VMware workstation and then we'll install the PRTG trial version which will be downloaded from the PRTG's official website using the trial key provided by them. We'll install it and we'll be having a fully functional 30 days PRTG trial. Once the download is completed, we'll begin the installation process and uh, during the installation one email address will be asked. You can give your own email ID that will be just be for the registration or the notification purpose. In this case, I'm giving one uh, demo email ID and then we'll click on the next and uh, process the installation. Okay, once the installation is finished, the uh, web browser will open and it will show you the status of installation of the PRTG system. It may take some time depending on the configuration of the server and after the PRTG software is installed, the dashboard will be looking like this. And here we will just check the license information and see if the demo is activated. We can see the demo is activated using the same trial key which was uh, provided in the website of PRTG. So we have uh, matched the key and the key is uh, similar to the one provided earlier. Then we'll move on to the home page of the PRTG uh, server once again and we will do some basic and minor changes just to make this demo work well. We can see these are all the basic sensors which were added automatically during the installations and uh, in some time we'll be removing the unused uh, sensors from the uh, system and we'll keep only the sensors necessary for the demonstration purpose so as you can see many of the sensors which are automatically uh, added and uh, PRTG scans the local network and if it finds any suitable desi devices which supports SNMP or basic ping monitoring it gets automatically added in the PRTG system so we may remove them as if they are not required. Okay, now for this demo purpose, we'll be adding one microtic device and for that uh, purpose will be uh, logging into the microtic device and will enable the SNMP for that specific device. So it's a basic setting. We'll uh, be enabling the SNMP uh, version two in the microtic device, and this is a microtic uh, CHR, which is also installed in the VMware workstation and specifically for this demo purpose only. Once we have enabled the SNMP, we'll just uh, exit and uh, all the communities are allowed all the ip addresses are allowed and then again we'll be moving into the prtg uh, server and we will add the device in this specific server after deleting the unused sensors and the devices from the prtg server portal so here we'll click on the add device then we can select the group and then we'll click on ok then we'll be giving the IP address of the microtech device and the name of the device. Say for example, we'll be giving a, a demo name and then we'll be providing the IP address, the local IP address of the server, microtech uh, CHR server. Uh, after adding the same, we can see the device has been added, but we have not yet added the sensors for the microtech device. We'll be again deleting the unnecessary uh, devices and the groups present in the current micro, uh, PRTG installation which were there by default.
so uh, now we'll add the uh, sensors for microdig so for this demo we'll be adding the uh, bandwidth monitoring sensor which will monitor the interfaces in the microdig and their bandwidth utilization or the traffic utilization for the specific interfaces so uh, for that uh, we will be selecting snmp and the bandwidth traffic and from here we can see the snmp traffic is shown below so you select on the snmp traffic and it will scan the interfaces which are present in the uh, microtic chr devices so we can see there are two interfaces so we'll select both the interfaces and then we'll click on create we'll also add the ping sensor which will monitor the reachability of the microtic device through our prtg server we'll just simply add on the ping sensor and we'll click on create now after we refresh the device sensors a couple of times the sensors will automatically get activated and you will see a green mark on the sensor so you can see in the sensors are activated right now and we can move on to the uh, devices home page and we can see traffic flowing through the sensors in a couple of minutes so after deleting all the unused and unnecessary uh, devices sensors and groups our prtg device list will be looking like this now to make things uh, more uh, interesting we'll be adding one more sensor which will be uh, the google global dns sensor so in a few seconds we'll be adding the uh, next sensor next device along with that we'll be adding a few sensors so again the process of adding the device is similar to that of microtik we'll be adding giving the device name and we'll also give the ip address of the device it is the google's global dns and then we'll click ok now for this specific device we'll be adding two sensors one will be the basic ping sensor which will be testing the reachability of the device and the second sensor will be the dns sensor which will monitor the dns performance and the dns uh, service availability for that specific device so once the sensors are added and we'll refresh the page a couple of times the sensors will get automatically activated and they are good to go next comes the most important part that is taking the backup of the prtg server so remember uh, for taking backups the services must be stopped on the prtg server and no further changes shall be shall be made on the prtg server so basically after stopping the services we have created a folder named as shared inside which will be creating or copying the files which will be necessary for the migration purpose so first we'll move on to the windows installation directory and inside the program files where the prtg server is installed so let the service get stopped okay once the services are stopped remember both the services must be stopped the core service and the probe service they must be in the stopped position before taking the backup and no changes should be made on the server so stop the services confirm it and then start the migration process okay so next we'll open the directory where the prtg server is installed in the c drive so we'll move on to the program files and we'll be finding out the prtg server installation directory the full details will be shared in my blog post for more clarity So inside the prtg server directory we need to copy some specific folders which will include the custom sensor the certificates the device templates snmp libraries the mib notification the web root folders and the lookups folders approx 10 9 to 10 directories you need to copy it so after copying uh, all the directories make a separate folder and paste it inside the sem so once it is done just monitor that all the necessary uh, files are copied or not in you can see in the background the files are being copied still now and after that uh, that part is done then we need to move on to the prtg network monitor folder in the program data directory 
in the C drive location. For your system, the program data directory may be in hidden state and you need to enable the hidden files view to copy the same. So this is the uh, program data and inside the program data you need to copy all the files present inside it for the migration purpose. So we'll be just copying it and we'll be uh, pasting it here in the program data section. The data copy time will vary based on the number of sensors, the number of devices or the number of custom SNMP monitors you have in your system. Since, since this is a freshly installed system with minimal number of sensors that the copy time is like this. And also remember that I am running it on a home PC with a VM. So the performance may vary from uh, system to system. That's it. Next, we'll be uh, just moving on to the server manager and we'll just uh, enable the remote desktop option just to get easy access. That's it. Uh, it is optional in your case. I'm just doing it for my easy access. That's it. So basically I'm uh, logging into the uh, main master server using the uh, remote desktop protocol. So here we have logged in and the copy is uh, still going on the copy. Yeah, the copy is finished. Next, uh, we'll be uh, copying the uh, data files as mentioned earlier. This is the program data. We'll be copying it and we'll be pasting it here. So these are very essential and this contains majorly all your backups. So it is also copied. Now we'll be going into the uh, registry and here we need to make the backup of the registry key so we'll be going into the local machine software wow 6432 node then into the uh, prtg network monitor and here you will will export the uh, configurations and just right click and then click on the export option We'll give a name to the export. Okay, the ex after finishing the export, we'll just see what the contents are. It contains all the necessary configuration as well as the license details and everything. So we'll uh, just cut the file and paste it into the shared folder which will be containing all the files necessary for the migration purpose. So we have just pasted the required file here. Now we will be creating up the second machine. So we will be moving into the fast forward mode because the process is similar. We will again create a PRTG server, assign the license and everything. Okay, we have uh, booted up a new system, the same Windows Server. We'll be installing the PRTG once again, a fresh install. This is the slave server into which we'll move the migration, move the configuration from the master server in a few moment. So the let uh, the installation will take some time, and once the installation is finished, we will see what are the default sensors are added here. 
and then we'll be proceeding with the restoration part. Okay, the server is installed. So these are the sensors, the devices, the groups in the new slave server. So we'll be keeping them as it is. Next, for the restoration process, we will be stopping the PRTG services, the probe service as well as the core server services. Once both the services are stopped and the same is verified, we will proceed further with the configuration restoration plan. So this is the folder where we have prepared all the files required for the migration purpose. You can just uh, put it into a flash drive and uh, just move it to a server. Since I'm doing a demo, I have just put it into a shared Windows folder where all the files are present and accessible. So first of all, we'll copy all the program files inside the PRTG directory. So we are copying all the necessary files from the master server to the PRTG slave server where we are restoring all the configuration files so again depending on the servers installation the number of sensors the number of uh, devices and the custom sensors present the timing will be different and based on the hardware specifications the copy time may vary from system to system so we will wait for the copy process to get finished Once the program files are copied, we'll then move on to the program data files, which are stored in the program data directory. The, the folder may be hidden in your system. You may need to unhide them to view them. So you can see how to unhide it. Then we'll move on to the program data and inside that we'll be pasting the folder. Once this is over, then we'll move on to the regex. That is the registry file. We'll just import it and after that we'll start all the services in the slave server. Remember this is the slave server. Once the services are started, we'll now log in to the PRTG. And we can see that all the configurations and all the sensors, the devices are migrated from the master server to the slave server successfully.